Well, friends, have you ever wondered why there are so many Baptist churches in the South? The South is literally loaded with Baptist churches everywhere. I've always wondered about that, why, what God absolutely did to make this all work out. What I found out was astonishing. Our American Bible Belt came from one Baptist church. And that church was started in 1755 by a man by the name of Shubal Stearns. It was a very simple and humble log cabin style church. But just like Noah took the wood from the forest and built the ark, God took the wood from North Carolina and built a powerhouse of a Baptist church that would be responsible for mothering many other Baptist churches. And it truly is an amazing story what God did back in 1755. Hang on, because it's going to get good. And someone invited me on a Baptist history tour. And uh, there for the first time in my life, I was introduced to men like John Leland, Obadiah Holmes, and others that should be household names to us. But after coming back and learning about the separate Baptist revival and learning about Shubal Starnes and other great Baptist preachers of the past, it transformed our church into a soul winning church. And we began right away uh, planting churches. This is Shubal, by the way. This is a sketch of Shubal Starnes. You say, who's Shubal Starnes? Shubal Starnes is the greatest man of God this country's ever produced. of George Whitfield, amazingly. As a saved person will do, he began to study his Bible. And he realized Anglican Church wasn't biblical. He got to Winchester, Virginia. And in Winchester, Virginia is where he got the letter that people would ride a day's journey to hear one sermon. Think about that. Ride a day's journey to hear one sermon. And he came down, of course, here, 16 folks with him. Uh, they built the first meeting house on the property area where we're at right now with 16 souls pretty quick. Built the house, held the table. Shubal Stearns was in his 50s when he got here. He was only here 16 years. He died in 1771. 16 years. In that 16 years, there were 17 preachers called out of this church. Those 17 preachers in those 16 years established 47 churches. As these churches began to grow, they, they had the, the first ever on the continent camp meeting. I think there was as many as 700 in attendance. Though it says in the history that a lot of them came just out of uh, amazement, wonder, that type of thing, something going on to go to.
But also at the time, you gotta realize, this is backwoods North Carolina. All right, when they came here, this was where three trails met. At the first association, we continued to gather three or four days. Great crowds of people came mostly through curiosity. The great power of God was among us. The preaching every day seemed to be attended with God's blessing. We carried on our association with sweet decorum and fellowship till the end. Then we took our leave of one another with many solemn charges from our Reverend Father Shuba Stearns. He told us, Stand fast till the end. Some of the other writings, the regular Baptists, which did exist <laughs> down here at that time, were Calvinistic and very solemn in the services. But the Sandy Creek preachers were not and were quite noisy. John Leland wrote this about them. He said, the regulars were Orthodox Calvinists and the work under them was solemn and rational. But the separates were most zealous and the work among them was very noisy. John Leland wrote that. Quite a move of God. And we come here because we're grateful to hear that. That has influenced our liberty. What a blessing we have today. But I will also say, how soft are we? How soft are we? Scripture bears out the fact that we have a goodly heritage. And that's what the whole thing's about, is just retracing our steps and uh, having our moorings. I mentioned something last night about any people that's removed from the history are easy to be led astray. And we as Baptists, uh, I think we all know well that uh, there are a lot of churches out there that call themselves Baptists, but the fact is they're Baptists in name only.